I'm so overwhelmed. My phone is trapped in there. I'm sure there's a good way to do this. Just don't happen to know what that is. I've created a monstrosity. Hey everyone, my name is Mike. I just moved and I'm living alone for the first time ever. And a lockdown from coronavirus just started. I don't own any furniture outside of what you see right now. I'm sitting on my bed in my bedroom. I don't have couch, dining room table, TV. As you can see, there is nothing here. It actually echoes in here because there's nothing to pad the sound. I lived with one of my best friends for the last few years in the house that she owned, and luckily I was able to use all the furniture that she already had. But now I'm starting fresh and I don't have anything. Through word of mouth, I heard about a company called Havenly, where you sign up to have an actual designer virtually design your space for you. That sounds perfect for me now because I don't know how to design a place. I know what I like and I know if things look good, but I don't know how to build that from scratch. The spaces I've lived in in the past, all the furniture was cobbled together. Nothing had any kind of theme or through line to it, but now I'm almost 30, a grown ass man. I really want my apartment to be beautiful. Specifically, this video is about redesigning my living room. So I've signed myself up for Havenly and I've been matched by one of their amazing designers named Ella. Ella and I have been messaging about our ideas for this space. Soon we're gonna do a video chat so we can talk about exactly how this process works. And then we're gonna see my living room come together piece by piece. Hey, I'm Emma. I'm an interior designer for Havenly. I sent you three design ideas that were actually very different. One of them was warm and boho and a neutral modern one and then a co more coastal mid-century modern idea board. I was really excited about leaning into beachy and blues with occasional pops of warmth. We didn't just run with one of those idea boards. That was the foundation, but we also pulled in elements from your second favorite because you wanted your space to be sunny and welcoming and have that energizing pop of color. We definitely brought that color in, but left the rest of that idea board behind. At that point, you made a rendering of the space. And then I put all the objects and furniture in there to scale so you can get a really solid visualization of what your room will look like. When I got those pictures, I like screamed because it finally felt real. I truly, literally would not have been able to do this without you. This project has been so much fun. I can't wait to see your living room come to life. The dining room table and chairs were the first thing to arrive and they were luckily pretty easy to assemble. My armchair has arrived. Let's test it out. <laughs> I'm into this. It's two in the morning. I really wanted to start building this china cabinet, but I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> There's so many parts. The instructions are incredibly overwhelming. There's also just not nearly enough light in here because I don't have lamps yet. At the very least, I'll just unbox things and that'll make me feel like I've accomplished something. It's sort of like when you have reading to do for a class, so you download the PDF and you're like, wow, I just made so much progress. Here's the china cabinet work in progress. Here's the other flat piece. I'm gonna screw it to the back of this. It's honestly kind of a workout, like I'm already sweating. We're moving on to the doors. It's like a really fun texture. I need to spin it around. It's going great. Uh, okay, I'm gonna lean it against the wall without trapping me here. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> Doors are starting to get attached. That is very satisfying. Here's a part that I'm being very careful with because this is glass. I did not attach the doorknob and I was like, oh, let me close it and see what happens. And now I can't open it up. My phone is trapped in there because I was using the flashlight feature on it to help me screw in the screws. Hopefully I can get this door open. I'd like to finish this and also I need my phone. At long last, it is assembled. This took a lot of work, but I am very proud of myself. My grandmother's china is finally in the new china cabinet. I have no idea how to organize or decorate a china cabinet, so I just winged it. Now it's on display. All right, y'all, my TV is about to arrive. It's gonna live over here for now. It's not gotten a little overboard with the size, but it will lower it. So today is TV stand day. It arrived in two gigantic packages. I think I might even be more intimidated by this than I was by the China cabinet. Some reviews online said that it took people three hours to do. That sounds optimistic to me. Instructions? Well, it's actually starting to look like something now. <sighs> I 
Well, I wasn't expecting to actually work on this a ton tonight, but then motivation struck, and here we are. Oh, this is heavy. Okay. Well, the next step involves hammering nails into the back of the TV stand. It's 1.30 in the morning. I don't think my neighbors are going to appreciate the sound of hammering nails, so this is gonna wait until tomorrow. Had the drawers in the wrong order. They look exactly the same, but they are subtly different. This fits here, this one fits here. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, it's done. <laughs> I also had curtains for the room arrive. Curtains will definitely make the place look a lot homier. I haven't figured out yet how I'm going to put them up because as you can see, I have vertical blinds. This is gonna be a question for Mr. Google. Probably gonna need a curtain rod. So upon a closer inspection, it's actually not that hard to take the vertical blinds out. That's what I'm doing right now. Today is the day when the couch arrives. I have no concept of how big it's gonna be. Hope everything fits, but I'll know very shortly. I have dragged the boxes in here. Here's one, and here's two. I kind of forgot how big couches are. This fabric feels so good. Soft and velvety. Half of the beautiful sectional is out of the box. Now I'm gonna put some decorative pillows and a throw blanket on it to be the icing on top. Now I'm trying to get this vape arms off. I'm really trying hard to not damage anything. I'm also trying to not fall off of this and break my neck. Okay, okay. We've got movement. Stay. Ah, oh, beautiful. Next up, I got these brackets called no-no brackets on Amazon that are designed specifically to go on vertical blinds. I can't take that down. Like, who am I? I'm not a carpenter. There it is. I'm gonna put up the curtains now. I'm sure there's a good way to do this. Just don't happen to know what that is. This is my bad. I never measured how high these windows were. So we ordered standard curtains, but they are too short. New curtains have arrived in the mail. No longer crop top length. They're up and they are long enough. I'm very excited to have some new artwork. This piece is by Leah Flores, and I think it really just ties in the whole beachy theme together. I went ahead and ordered some art pieces off of Etsy. So I have this beautiful skyline of Providence made by Michael Thompson, because that's where I'm from. And I have this painting of Dell's Lemonade by Katya Bulbenko, a staple growing up in New England. These make me feel like I'm home. Guys, I can't believe it's done. What a journey. As you remember, there was nothing in here a month ago, and all of a sudden, I have a home. Every time I walk into my living room, I can't help but smile. Ella did an incredible job designing this space. It's me, it's like me, but elevated. Because I actually got to assemble everything myself, this feels even more of my own. It's not exactly the same as building furniture from scratch, but it's similar. Havenly actually offered these 3D renderings that are super beautiful, super high detail. They honestly look like photos. It's a little different than the way that I decided to lay out my apartment, but the beautiful thing about layouts is that it's a living space. If I get tired of the way things are organized now, I can move them around later. Now I know what it's like to experience an apartment makeover during quarantine. It's possible. Thanks for watching, stay safe.